I'm here with Ligia Villalobos, writer of La Misma Luna. How are you? I'm well, thank you very much. Your film is going on right now. It's actually being screened. Tell us, what it, how did you come up with the idea of La Misma Luna? Well, I wanted to actually tell a story about the displacement of children as a result of parents having to come and live here to provide a better life for them. So it's not really a crossing the border story, and it's not even really an illegal immigrant story. It's more about the emotional tug of war that children and parents deal with as a result of the decision that they have to make to come and live in this country. How did you get inspired to think of these characters and um, create the story that you did? You know what, it, for me it was really about dealing with the theme of abandonment. And I think that abandonment is something that all of us have experienced, whether it's through one parent household or the loss of a friend or a relationship that has broken up. In my case, it was through divorce. You know, my parents being divorced from a very young age and me trying to figure out, you know, those issues. And I felt that the theme of abandonment could really be explored in the world of these immigrants because they are forced to do this out of necessity. And so it was a combination of trying to tell a human story about an issue, as well as exploring how do children emotionally feel as a result of that decision. What have been some of your struggles that you've encountered being a writer and or being a female, it doesn't have to be, but that maybe you, you've overcome? Well, I would just say, you know, in particular with this screenplay, this screenplay sat on a shelf for six years. And so that happens a lot and people get really discouraged. You know, it was a very small story and uh, it would have been very, very difficult to do uh, in the studio system. But I think if you have the faith in it and, and, you know, in my case, I was able to work in television for four years. And so I didn't have that need of just getting the screenplay made. But you know you have to be patient, and and you have to you have to realize that there's a timing for everything. And in this case, it took six years to actually get it to the screen. How did you not go crazy waiting six years? Did you preoccupy yourself with more writing? Or? Yeah, I was really busy actually. You know, I worked for a year on the NBC show Ed, and then for three years I was a head writer on Go Diego Go. So I wasn't in a situation where I was just waiting around hoping that my screenplay would be made, I was actually writing not only on the shows getting paid, but also doing other spec scripts in hopes to eventually tell my own stories instead of someone else's stories in television. She kept working. That's, I mean, that's the moral of the story. You don't wait around for things to happen. Speaking of which, do you pressure agents or your or management to make things happen for you, or do you think that you take a more proactive approach? You do both things. You know, I do. I'm lucky enough to have a, both an agent and a manager that represent me. But in the case of the director of this film, I went to a film festival that Columbia Film School had. It was her student film. And so, you know, a lot of times you look outside of the system and you find an amazing talent like Patricia is. Amazing. Congratulations on all your success. And it was a pleasure talking to you. Enjoy the conference. Ligia Villalobos, writer of La Misma Luna. Thank you very much for having me. Our pleasure.